So this is my model avalanche. What it is, is a wood frame with an angle marker and a plywood board mounted on hinges that, well, can hinge. So I designed this so that the marker on the side shows the different angles as the board is lifted up. For the loose bottom layer of my avalanche, I used dirt with gravel mixed in it, just small gravel. Uh, the gravel will slide a lot easier um, and it'll act like uh, sugar, snow, or hoarfrost. For my slab, what I used is flour and this will fill in all the voids in between the gravel and it'll act like the harder snow on top of it. So now I'll take this cup and I'll evenly distribute the flour along the board. As you can see right now, I'm packing it down slightly just to make the flour tighter together to represent more of a slab. Okay, so now that we have our loose layer and our harder layer, we are ready to create the avalanche. So right here is our 25 degree mark. This is where the possibility of an avalanche is possible, but it's not uh, super likely. Here is 30 to 45 degrees, which is the most dangerous angle uh, between that range. That's where avalanches happen most often. And here we have 45 degrees to 50 degrees, whereas when there's a little bit harder of a snowpack, that's where the avalanches are more likely to occur because down here they don't have, it doesn't have as much of an angle. And here there's no danger whatsoever because the angle I'll show later on, there's no possibility of snow building up on that angle because the snow automatically slides down in smaller uh, quantities. I'll lift it slowly so there'd be no disturbances from me lifting it. So as you can see right as we got to that 25 degree mark we had some rocks that were not supported by the snowpack falling down. As I approach the 30 degree mark we see a few more. Now we're in the danger zone. Now as you can see we had a small avalanche over here and as we get higher and higher, we had that whole slab come off there, and there's the rest of our avalanche, where the harder snowpack was that happened up here. And now as we approach the 55 degree mark, the rest of it will fall. If there's a mountain that's at this angle and snow's falling on it, it automatically falls down and it has no chance to build up. So that's why there's no danger at 55 degrees. And where, as you can see, during this demonstration, you saw that between the 30 degree mark and 45 was the most dangerous. Where at 30 degree mark, that's where a small avalanche happened. Then as we approached around the 44 degree mark, uh, we saw a much larger avalanche happen. And as we approached the 48 degree mark, the rest of it also down leading leaving only a little bit at the top here thanks for watching